Welcome to our review on preventing decay. So first thing we need to consider here are what the consequences of food decay are and therefore why we actually care. So the first thing is that it's going to reduce the amount of food available for people to eat. So in some areas where we've got a food shortage, that decay of our food stores could actually lead to malnutrition of the people. If someone eats food that's already started decaying, then that can lead to quite nasty illnesses. And finally, if the food is decaying before we sell it, then the profits of both farmers and supermarkets will be reduced. We've got a variety of ways that we can actually prevent decay. The first one of these is a process called canning. So all we're doing here is we're gonna seal the food inside metal containers, heat it up to kill any microbes that may be present in there. And then because it's in that sealed can, no oxygen and no microbes can actually get into it. So that means it will last a very long time, which is why you should always have those canned goods if you're preparing for an apocalypse. Second method is uh, the process of cooling. So this is basically using our fridges in our homes. Now food in a fridge is about four degrees Celsius. And as a result of that lower temperature, we'll slow the rate of reproduction of our decomposers. Third method is by freezing. So we've also got freezers in most homes and what we can do there is store food at about minus five degrees Celsius. And at that temperature, the decomposers cannot reproduce. Our next method is drying food. So things like pasta are dried. And the reason that we do this is because without water, our decomposers are unable to either grow or reproduce. If we add salt to our foods, and this is the way they used to do it going back to when we were discovering the planet by sailing around the world, then we used to have big barrels of salt with various meats in there. So we can use this process of salting for fish and cured meats. And the reason this works is that that salt draws the water out of any microbes present by the process of osmosis and therefore kills them. Next method we can use is adding sugar. So this is what we do when we make jams. So what we actually do again here is by adding the sugar, water gets drawn out of those organisms by osmosis and again kills them. The final method of food preservation we can use is adding vinegar. So because vinegar is an acid, it's going to kill the decomposers. One of the key things to remember here about how we preserve our food, it's all to do with stopping those decomposers from acting on the food in one way or another. So we can kill them by adding various things. We can slow their rate of reproduction or stop it if we're freezing it, or we can seal them in so that they don't have the oxygen they need in order to actually carry out their life processes.